This is Andy Matthews with MeepleMountain.com. We're here at Gen Con 50 at the Czech Games Edition Room. We're here talking with Vlada Svadl, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his background and uh, one of his new games. All right. So one of the things that I'm really interested in is you as a designer, you've got such a wide variety of games, a wide range from Galaxy Trucker, which is a real-time engine building game, to code names, and your new game, That's a Question. Can you tell us a little bit about how you as a designer can have that wide variety? Uh, the point is that uh, when I'm playing, I love games, yeah, most of various types of games, and I love variety in games, yeah. When I play a game, I uh, I usually enjoy it a lot, and then don't I don't uh, feel like uh, I will play it again now, because I then I want to play a different game. <laughs> There's lots of games, the great games. I enjoy a lot and played only once in my life. Right. But it's great, yeah. There's so there's so many games out there. So That's true. And uh, and sometimes I'm in a mood in some heavier game or some very story-driven game. Sometimes in cooperative game. Sometimes in some light party game. Uh, so I uh, enjoy a huge variety of games, and this all inspires me. I so. Love it. When I'm playing games, I'm thinking about them, uh, and sometimes I say, okay, no one did this yet, I should try it, or, oh, this could work, I can try this, yeah, yeah. and I combine these uh, things together, and when I think that I have something that could work, I start to work on it and try to uh, deliver a working uh, game. And, uh, and if it is really good, then uh, I try to get it published. Right. Well, you've clearly done really well. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about your new game, That's a Question? Uh, that's a Question is a very light game. Uh, uh, because this year, I was absolutely busy uh, by because I work for our digital department. And right. we are implementing by one of my heaviest games. Uh, uh, to the ages, yeah, it will be out in month, and uh, it takes most of my time. But I can't stop designing games. Of course not. Uh, there is, uh, so I did some lighter games, and this one, uh, our uh, people at our company, especially Peter, CEO of our company, liked it very much. It is very light games about asking questions. Uh, 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 to, uh, give, giving questions to your uh, 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 f friends, to your uh, partners in the game, and uh, guessing what they answer. Yeah, and there are such uh, there are similar games that where you uh, give them question whether you would rather choose this or this and so on. But uh, usually these questions are predefined. Yeah, okay. and in this game you are you build the question particularly for the particular person. Yeah, so if I know you like uh, I don't know uh, you like fantasy and you like video games and I will ask you if you would miss more video games or fantasy. Yeah, uh, then uh, or maybe if you uh, ask a girl if she would miss more uh, romantic evenings or chocolate. I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> So uh, this uh, and there are different type of questions. If you would rather be captain of a spaceship or uh, or be uh, able to uh, return to the past or something like this, yeah. So uh, you build from predefined uh, questions. You build a question for a particular player, and you want to put the question to uh, be hard because. Uh, you ask one person, and everyone else else uh, is guessing what this person will answer. Interesting. And uh, everyone who answers correctly, including the you know the ask person always answers correctly by definition. Right. And everyone else uh, who answers correctly scores a point, and you score for every wrong answer or wrong way. Yes. Yeah. So if you give a good question, <laughs> uh, if you uh, give a good question that. Uh, uh, no one is sure about the, this person, and usually you, you know it is a good person if this person says, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, gotta so, make them think. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and this, you know, there is some score. So the scoring works. I want all my uh, games to work. But it's not the main point of this game. Right. Yeah? The main point is that you, you uh, get uh, people think about interesting stuff. And, and, uh, 
try to get each other better now. It, it works. It works best if uh, with a group, uh, people you know, or you right. want to get in a hole. But uh, there are also some groups that enjoy it even if they don't know each other. <laughs> Very depends, cool. Yeah. So, when you design a game like Code Names or That's a Question, for example, do you have a specific audience in mind, or do you expect that the same audience that plays through the ages might also play these games? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, there is also, there is also uh, one uh, common point in the audience of all my games. And that's myself. <laughs> and the point is that I I do the games the way I like them. Yeah, I would never do a game I don't like. Right. Uh, I suppose, uh, and it, then it is uh, kind of random. I like a huge variety of games. Yeah. yeah. And that's why my games are very uh, various. Yeah. I like having good, uh, well built uh, games. Yeah. So. I can do to the ages or something like this, and I love like party games and I love times up. Yeah, that's why I can do Pictomania or right. code names. So that's a question. Yeah, uh, and I don't. The only audience I'm thinking about is me and people around me. Yeah, I another thing is I would it would be hard for me to uh, do a game that people around me don't like. Yeah, because. Uh, I want to show them and play with them and with my friends and so on, yeah? I think that's an excellent way to end. Thank you so much for your time. I, I appreciate that. And, and the, the notion that you're saying that you're designing games for yourself, <laughs> that's wonderful. So thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah. All right. This is Andy Matthews with Meeple Mountain, and we are signing off. For more information about the games that we talked about, check the description below.